Hello YouTube, this is Dazza the Cameraman. Today is Tuesday the 21st of July 2015 and uh, today we're looking at uh, some claims about flat earth and I was asked to take a look at this post by Denise Turner. This is a public post shared on Facebook um, where Denise says apparently the land masses on earth expand and contract WTF Thanks to the flat earthers, I've now noticed space pictures of Earth are BS. See below, I'm adding other pictures. So here we've got a nice picture of the Earth from space, and as I scroll down, we see these other pictures. Now what Denise is, is pointing out, as she says here, so the US has shrunk since this photo? WTF is really going on, folks. Can you explain why the difference to me? So what she's pointing out is that the, the size of the land mass seems to have changed in these images. So why would it appear to be different in different images? Well, there is a very simple reason, and I'm going to use Starry Night to explain what's going on here. Here we are looking at the Earth from space, and we can either zoom in as if we're using a camera with a zoom lens, like I'm going to do here, and the land mass seems to remain the same relative to the apparent uh, angular diameter of, of the disk of the Earth. So it doesn't matter whether I'm zoomed in or zoomed out, the, the relative size of the land mass seems to uh, be the same relative to the size of the disk. I hope I'm explaining that properly. But the difference is, instead of zooming in and out as if we're using a zoom, what if we get closer to the Earth? Now we have to remember that the Earth is not flat, as claimed by flat Earthers, it is a sphere. So in other words, the, the centre of the sphere is closer to our eye, if we're out in space observing, or even if this is just a, say, a, um, a globe that you've bought in the shop, you know, with the, with the map of the Earth on it, um, or even a basketball or whatever you want to draw pictures on it you've got a ball that's right in front of you okay because it's a sphere that the center of the sphere is actually closer to your eye than the edges are obviously because it's round and not flat so if we move in closer um, this control here uh, controls the distance um, between the the earth and our spacecraft so if I zoom in, you see the effect that it, that it has on the apparent size of the landmass. It seems to be distorted, and that's the effect of the, the sphere. So as I move in, you can see that effect. It's really accentuated. Okay. So those images uh, that we see would have been taken from different distances from the Earth. Now we've got different satellites that are in very different um, altitudes above the Earth. And uh, although the images may look the same, uh, when we go to these images, like they may be cropped so that the apparent diameter is the same, like say between this one and this one, they look very similar in, in size. Um, but we don't know how far away the satellite was that took the image. You know, I can, I can frame up a, a, uh, a box here around the Earth and, uh, and take a picture or I could zoom out and put a smaller frame around it and take a picture. And as long as the final picture was presented as the same size, they would both look the, the, the same size picture. Um, but I hope I've explained that it is because of the relative distance um, from the Earth that causes that distortion. If that was a flat disk, it would not be doing that. Okay, so that's the difference between moving in closer. In fact, as I move in, you can see some of the satellites there. I'll turn on the, uh, the labels for satellites. There we go. How's that? So we've got weather satellites, we've got communication satellites, um, there's military satellites. Uh, there are over 15,000 proper satellites in space. As far as I'm aware, there's more than 40,000 objects in, this, in the uh, satellite catalogue, but a lot of those objects are not functioning satellites. They are debris, rocket bodies, and, and so forth. 
In fact, you can even see like this one here is a rocket body. So I hope that's explained that. It is just an illusion caused by the, um, the spherical shape of the Earth and the relative distance of the camera.